Hello everyone, this is Ted Williams here with TedWilliamsIII.com. Should we arm our teachers? This is the question that everyone is asking around the country, so let's go ahead and talk about it. So first things first, President Trump has put forth a proposal to arm teachers in the schools and also do a couple other things which are pretty non-traditional for a Republican president. He's, are, he's talked about expanding background checks. He's talked about expanding mental health checks. He's talked about uh, this notion of changing the age that people can actually get guns, which I think is a significant move in the right direction. I just don't think it's going to happen. Unfortunately, I wish it did. I'm not sure that his constituency will allow him to do that, but and I'm not sure that he's committed to it. I have no idea. But if he is and, and it does happen, then kudos to him, right? But let's talk about the most controversial part. It's the arming of the teachers. So right now, about 18 states allow for adults to carry weapons on school property if they are an employee. There are a variety of restrictions around those based on the state, but schools are armed with teachers uh, around the country, most notably in Texas, which has the most expansive program for arms teachers. Now, I'm a teacher. I work at a community college. I'm a community college professor. I work with students every day. The idea that I would carry a gun into class is, for me, uh, unacceptable, right? I'm there to educate. I'm there to inspire. I am there to protect. But the fact of the matter is that we do have security on campus. We have armed security on campus. And I'm very happy about that. It actually makes sense. There are schools in our community that I live in where they have metal detectors at the door. Uh, there are a lot of things that we can do short of arming teachers, but I have to suggest that in all of this debate, it's not a either or, it's a both and. A lot of people have these conversations and go, oh, well, we'll just simply do this. I don't know if you heard people on TV or on social media say, oh, well, do this, bam, boom, and it's over. I mean, Trump's even said that himself, you know, simple solution, bam. There are no simple solutions, folks. It's not that easy. Crime, as Dr. King said, is environmental. So you have to look at issues of poverty. You have to look at issues of mental health. And no, you cannot advocate for more guns and decreasing mental health at the same time. It doesn't work that way. If you do, we have a recipe for disaster. Those who are arguing for more guns ought to be arguing as well for an expansion of mental health funding, expansion of anti-poverty programs. That way, then you are not creating a, uh, an environment it's really like a powder keg if you think about it. So you can't you can't have it both ways. You have to, if you're going to support one thing, you've got to support these other things. But comprehensive plan, comprehensive, comprehensive, holistic is very important. We can walk and chew gum in this country. Yes, we can regulate certain kinds of guns. Yes, we can expand background checks for people. Yes, we can make it so that a kid cannot get their hands on a semi-automatic weapon. This is not a violation of the Second Amendment. Don't get me started on the Second Amendment conversation. I'm not here to talk about that today. I've done a couple videos on that. I don't even want to get into that debate because we live in a gun culture in America. My interpretation the fact of the matter is that most people have already accepted that we're going to have guns in the society. So let's say we have guns, we're fine. But are we safer with more teachers carrying weapons? I don't think that that is the number one solution that we can come up with because we're afraid to regulate on the back end. We're putting the responsibility and the onus on the teachers. I don't want that responsibility, folks, as someone who works in the classroom. And the majority of teachers that I know don't want that responsibility also. Now, to be fair to the Trump administration, here's what they have said. They have said that this is not a program that would be universal. It'd be about 20% of people in the schools. They would be like U.S. Marshall they have some training, et cetera, et cetera. I don't agree with the plan, but if it does pass, it's not a magic bullet. You have to deal with the other issues as well. We're looking at health care issues, mental health issues, gun control issues, family issues, cultural issues, et cetera, et cetera. And when we have these debates, people oftentimes throw those issues up as a reason not to regulate guns. And what I'm saying, can we do both? Why can't we do both? Why can't we take the best from the right and from the left and come up with a plan that I think is long term and realistic? Because if we really want to see a change in culture, we have to do uh, a number of things to get it done. You know, during the Great Depression, Franklin Roosevelt 
said that he was like a quarterback. He likened himself to a quarterback that was trying to fix the economic problems in the country by trying a variety of solutions. And that's what I'm suggesting here as well. And also, I want to say that if we're going to have this debate, even if you come on the comment section and you want to talk about it, come with solutions, folks. Let's not argue. Let's not throw out the traditional arguments on this, this debate. Let's come with solutions and let's be sensible. We don't do ourselves any favor by any favors by arguing with one another to the point where we can't hear anything that anyone else is saying. And so for this, I do think that the right, although I don't support a lot of guns in our society, uh, I do believe that the right does have some valid points on this, once again, suggesting that one gun law, one regulation is not going to cut it. They are a thousand percent correct. And they're also very correct that guns are here to stay and gun laws don't actually necessarily have the impact that we want to have. There are thousands of illegal guns in this country, millions, I would venture to say. We know that there are at least about 300 million guns in the country, and many of them are illegal. So the fact of the matter is, is that gun control is not a simple solution. I support it because in a sane society, why on earth would you allow any and everyone to get their hands on weapons of mass destruction. It makes no sense whatsoever. So we have to have some gun control. We have to look at this holistically. Those are my thoughts, folks. I'd love to hear yours. Let's talk about it. Let's have some productive conversation and let's move forward because at the end of the day, this is not about me or you. It's not about our uh, making a stance about our political ideology. It's about saving lives. And if we're about saving lives and we will have sensible discussions with one another to move us forward towards solutions. Have a great day.